I've obviously been very busy uh, with the move into the new place such I'm at here, but I'm just getting ready. I'm heading over to work and um, we were expecting a shipment of some cars coming in over to uh, to my parents' place, shipping up from uh, from Connecticut with my grandparents. And uh, I was expecting to be able to receive that shipment maybe Monday or possibly Tuesday. Then it was Sunday. And then I get a call this morning that the driver's out there this morning and I can't get out there. So luckily the neighbor was able to receive the cars, but um, I'm gonna have to swing over there a little bit, get the keys from them and uh, show you guys what we got. One of the cars in that shipment is actually mine. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys the, uh, oh, cat just trampled us. I'm excited to show you guys uh, one of the vehicles that I'm gonna be messing with on the channel. Um, so big reveal day, finally, it's been a long time coming. I didn't seek out and buy this car. This was luckily handed down to me within the family. The more I've looked into this car, the more I get excited about making it my own. This is a 2002 Cadillac Eldorado ETC. The ETC is a touring model with more aggressive tune and overall setup. The 4.6 liter Northstar V8 puts out 300 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 295 foot-pounds of torque at 4,400 RPM. These engines are very high RPM motors, with the power mostly coming only on after 3500 RPMs. This engine has been nicknamed the Death Star, for the simple reason that it has one major flaw in the design. Based off my research, the weak point in the design is the head studs, that often can lead to head gasket issues. This issue is not as apparent in the models after 2000, but it's still a bit of a weak point. Based off what I've seen and doing my digging online, if you replace the head studs and make sure the cooling system is in top shape, these engines are pretty well built to handle what you throw at it. I have seen so many individuals state that these engines have been having the most problems when they're baby, and really like to be treated like the performance engines that they are. Past model years of this engine have seen gains to up between 375 and 400 horsepower with a tune and camshaft from North Star Performance. However, the model years 2000 to 2002 have the PCMs tightly locked down and North Star Performance has been working on cracking the PCM on these cars for a while. And I'm hoping that they manage to get this done soon. 
If they get their stage four kit with the PCM and camshafts ready, I plan to open up the engine and do that along with the head studs and other modifications to maximize the performance of this car into a bit of a sleeper. I would replace the head studs anyways, but I wouldn't want to open up the engine unless I could do other modifications while I'm in there. In the meantime, I'm limited in what I can modify. My plan for the time being is wheels, tires, suspension, brakes, steering and chassis modification for better handling performance, cooling system overhaul, and of course exhaust so we can hear the true North Star sound. I would also like to do modification to the cross under pipe. From what I understand, there's a lot of pipe sticking through the Y pipe that can be grinded out to free up flow. And that is the main restriction on this design. I will also do basic appearance modifications like chrome delete, possible full wrap, mesh grill, etc. I can't wait to see what this car turns into over the years to come. I hope you guys enjoy coming along for the ride. On this channel, I seem to end up mostly modifying cars that aren't messed with a whole lot, and I kind of like going against the grain in that way. Tons of people groan about keeping these all original, but I want to dare to be different and truly make this one of a kind. When I'm done with this car, I think it's going to be a real head turner. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate the support. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check that bell so you're notified of my new uploads. I'll see you all in the next update.